Hey guys, it's pretty bright out here. Anyway, um, I was gonna do this video between about two days, and uh, it's actually gonna be multiple days from the whole week. So, our English peas are not doing so wonderful. I don't know what we did wrong or why they're not really growing but um they're only that big and they should be much bigger and on the trellis so we're gonna let them keep going but we're gonna retill the rest of this bed and plant it hey Gideon so we also are expecting a new baby in the family uh, today and we are babysitting uh, some of the little boys in our family and we've got them put to work. We had to uh, burn uh, in the garden area after the hurricane and we want to be able to use the garden area so they are digging out all the gunk. Now, about to till this bed and do a lot more tilling on other areas. And we're gonna plant, hopefully, today. If not, sometime this week. So these boys are a part of our family. Um, you've heard Kelly talk, Kelly Jr. talk about our brother Jason who lives in Texas. These are two of his grandsons, Waylon and Brylon. Boys, you wanna say hey? <laughs> so like I said earlier, they are um, cleaning up the area that we had to burn in um, in the garden area and uh, garden area does not look so hot right now this is it all weeds so we have a lot of tilling to do and work to get done but I just tilled two of our smaller beds and uh, maybe we'll get those planted today we'll see So now I've tilled everything and I took a break, had to deal with the kids and uh, do some stuff. So now I'm going to um, bust rows so that we can plant uh, one of the beds. The other bed we're going to put our um, cattle panel trellis in and then do some uh, planting in like hills and stuff, not necessarily robusting. Uh, but the first bed I tilled, fixing a bust rose in it. Hey guys, so uh, earlier in this video, which was actually yesterday, I did a bunch of tilling and busted rows and stuff so that we could plant some of the garden. And uh, with my niece having her baby and all kinds of other stuff, we didn't actually get to finish everything yesterday. So we're going to finish it today. I know you've all seen cattle panels used to grow beans and 
even small squash, vine and squash, or even uh, pumpkins and melons on. And usually what you do is you drive T-posts in the ground and then you attach the cattle panels to them. Well, my husband had an idea so that we didn't have to do that every time with every one. And so he built this contraption and it's basically a cattle panel, a couple of cattle panels on a sled. And so Ashley and I are gonna move this into the bed behind her that, uh, and we're gonna go grow cucumbers on this. Now, later we're gonna plant some whole green beans and we'll show you that when the time comes and it's gonna be a whole long row of cattle panels. And that time we will use tea post. But for just every so often, using something and moving it from one place to another. This is pretty handy, and us two girls can move it with not too much trouble. You'll notice that I did a row on the inside of this cattle panel as well, instead of just the outside. The outside are the cucumbers that are gonna grow over it. But we like a hybrid turnip, in addition to our regular turnips, called White Lady. They're very, very good, very sweet. You can pull them up out of the dirt, wipe them off, and just eat them like an apple. They're just really a good turnip. And so because it's getting too hot here in Northwest Florida for that kind of stuff, I put them inside this, which they'll come along pretty quick. And as the cucumbers begin to grow, they'll help shade it just a little bit. And so we'll get at least, we may not get as many turnips out of those as we would like. But I'm late planting them because nobody had the seed and I was out of that kind of seed. So when I found it, I bought quite a bit. And because we really like them. In addition to the regular purple pops. Um, but they're just a real sweet, really good turnip. You ought to give them a try. What we've been doing is planting garden stuff. Um, as you know, back over there towards the woods, we did the um, squash where the English peas are that are not doing so wonderful. And that, it's hard to see, but there's an arch over there um, with cucumbers that are going to grow up on it. And in many of the videos, or uh, in, in some of the footage from this video, um, I've been working on tilling this bed. Well, it's finally done. It took me all week because we had to go over it so many times. <laughs> and then we put up arches in the middle of it for our green beans to grow up. So we've got butter peas planted. We planted this morning. And the green beans and art will go to the arch. At the further end of the arch, the arch didn't go all the way down. And um, so to finish out the bed will be uh, zucchini. And then this is all zipper peas. Um, so we've been busy, but not just us. Um, as you will see in some, have, or have seen in some of the footage, we finally hired us another yard guy. <laughs> And he has been a huge help. So, um, he actually finished the tilling. Finished the tilling and, uh, busted the rows and, and all kinds of, actually I don't think we have footage of him. We just have pictures, but I will insert pictures. So, working. So anyway, that's what we've been doing. Uh, I'm excited to finally have the summer garden planted on this side of the road. We still have a lot to do on the other side. <laughs> We're gonna try to plant the corn tomorrow. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this video. Um, subscribe to our channel, would be awesome. Like, share, comment. Um, check us out on Facebook. We are Pemberley Farm on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest and we are Pemberley Farms with an S92 on Instagram. Anyway, check us out. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless.